from an early age, I had had a problem known as the grass is always greener on the other side. I didn't appreciate what I had, so I looked into everything else. Naturally, in my study of esoteric things, that came up. So not knowing I already had something great, not appreciating it fully, I looked into a lot of things. And that's just as well, because I got to see a lot of different approaches, methods, thinking about different things that are done how other systems and traditions do it, and also to compare the effectiveness. With that in mind, and with all the years of my own experience, the experience of people close to me, I heartily recommend that if you were going to use a form of applied magic, applied spirituality, you might call it, spell casting, treatment, affirmative prayer, the best method to learn is the spoken method. Spoken spellcraft has everything to recommend it as the primary focus for developing your skill at projecting magical force. For one thing, anyone, and I've noticed this time and again, if you can master spell and spellcraft so that it works for you, all other types come easy. Because the principle is already instilled in you. And the principle of a good spell is to contact, control, and direct magical force. It's that simple. You contact it, you control and form it for what you need it to do, and then you send it to the thing where it must be done. Spoken spellcraft demands adherence to that principle because without it, the mental operation ceases. And the mental operation for spoken spellcraft goes conscious, subconscious, lower, and out. It's all in mind. So technically and factually, you can do spoken spells silently with practice. The guy who's just learning them better work at using his voice. The guy who's been at it, who's been at it a while can start learning to use more of his mind. I wrote a book almost 20 years ago called Old Norse Charms, Spoken Spells and Rhymes. It's a small book. We're talking 30 pages, giving examples of spells that are pretty old, most of them. Uh, some had been Christianized and I had repaganized them, but explaining how they work, the technique of it, because with spoken spellcraft, it's not that you memorize a lot of spells, it's that you memorize the principle so that you can adapt the spoken spells to your immediate need. And that adaptability gives you more ability than people who memorize hundreds of spells. Of course, in the book of 101 spells, what happens when you come up to the 100 second situation? Spoken spellcraft can be, give you the 100 second, the 100 third, the 200 third, whatever comes up. So I encourage that whatever system you're in, work on those spoken spells and work on the principle and remember always. The operating principle behind it all is to contact, control, direct. Good luck with your studies. When you work at it, it works for you. Have a good one. This is Uncle Thor from the Trollwise Press.